start off with just how, how you felt, what you had working today? Uh, it was a long wait to, uh, I knew a week and a half ago that I was going to start, so it was a long wait, finally got it out <laughs> of the way. You know, I was anxious before, but it felt great to go out there. Not the whole time. I think I struggled at the beginning of the game, but I got the jitters out of the way first two or three innings, so I felt a lot more comfortable in the last three innings. Uh, dream come true. Yes, sir. That was, uh, it was a great experience for me. Uh, kind of just got to give, give God all the glory in that situation. You were able to overcome a couple of strikeouts to you know, the first one. Yes, sir. That was uh, tough the first at bat coming back from that, but just trying to stay strong mentally and work through each at bat from that point on. Yeah, when you just talk about you know kind of jumping on them early and just, just kind of sparking things. Well, um, as a team, I kind of felt like we uh, we just got out there and we wanted to show them what we could do early. And it was almost near a month before we finally got on the field, and we were just really excited to be out there and got a pitch. Then Brian did his thing. Oh yeah, you know you feel a lot more comfortable uh, with the type of def defense that we have out there right now. I'm, uh, they have really good chemistry up the middle, and uh, you know anything that's up the middle with guy on, I feel like we get to. You know, uh, baseball, um, only one guy gets the ball every you know every play, and that's the pitcher. It all starts on the mound, and. Uh, when you have a guy that's up there pounding the zone like uh, like Jalen was tonight, you know it's it's easy for defense. You know you're always moving around, always ready to go every pitch. And uh, he was able to live in the bottom of the strike zone. And you know we were we were ready to turn those double plays. And uh, you know he was able to uh, when they did get a guy on, he was able to get him out quickly. And you know that's that's our job as defenders. You really put some separation in the game with the uh, bases loaded double. Uh, can you just talk about what Nunn was doing and what 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 you got? Um, well, he was doing a good job sinking the ball, and uh, I, I feel like as an offense, we did a good job, you know, laying off of those pitchers' pitches, those ones falling out of the zone. And uh, you know, he got me early. He actually left a few up that I uh, that I didn't uh, put very good swings on, but uh, I was able to get to full count. Um, you know, he left me a fastball out over the plate, and I was just able to, you know, put a good swing on it. And we were, you know, we we're kind of able to put the game away at that point, you know, and uh, you know, just. As an offense, it was a it was a great job of everyone seeing pitches, and I think that kind of warmed down. And uh, you know, all the credit goes to my teammates. Ryan, any comment about being on the Golden Spikes? Uh, you named one of the on the Golden Spikes watch list. Uh, uh, that's first I'm hearing. Uh, um, you know, that's that's definitely an honor. But uh, you know, all that matters is uh, you know the game tomorrow. We're looking forward to uh, getting after him again. Um, you know, I, you got to come to the same park with the same mentality every every week and you know, and, and every day. And uh, you know, today we, we were just looking, you know, get outside in the nice weather and, and get after the pitcher. We kind of knew what kind of uh, what guy was, you know, uh, mixing his pitches, working low in the zone. And I think that's what we're working with again tomorrow. But uh, you know, it, it definitely helps your confidence knowing that we have the ability to put up runs like that, even with guys coming off the bench and. Uh, and some plying some pop. And uh, when you have guys like Chris John Wilkerson that are stepping up, guys who you haven't really seen a lot play, you know, in front of a crowd, um, that's always a confidence boost. You know, it's just, it, it keeps us going and, uh, you know, we're ready for tomorrow. Yeah, I think just as an offense, we've been grinding all fall and we, we just got tired of playing each other. So as soon as we stepped out there and there was another team on the other side of that field, it's just obviously an adrenaline boost. but. Um, we stayed under control, as Brian said. We, we got the pitches we were looking for, and I think um, Coach Vitello and Flanders and Carver have really been helping us um, just kind of stay in our legs and giving us the right mentality to go forth and have a good game plan at the plate. Anything else? What kind of leg does it take to put one out over the right field wall in this win? <laughs> yeah, ask AJ. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See you, man. Uh, well, I got a good pitch to hit, uh, a little bit up in the zone. Yeah, I try to stay, stay through a little bit, but uh, Coach Vitello has been working with us a lot on staying through the ball and uh, getting in your legs, things like that. Y'all hadn't seen me to go out to right like that in that tight of 
No. I mean, have you seen him? He's a beast. <laughs> it's unreal. He's superhuman. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you.